Good morning, Carl. It is a very modest report to a hot inflation number. Essentially, no change in the 10-year yield, uh, about 12 points in the S&P. Considering how hot that number is, very modest response. Take a look at the sector. Somewhat defensive tone with the uh, Consumer staples, healthcare leading early on. Tech's now uh, up slightly here. Banks typically weak. This this happens a lot going into earnings season, the week before and, and, and the week of earnings season. Banks typically sell off a little bit, even though the bank numbers were still overall excellent. Notice the reopening stocks have been very toppy the last month. The airlines have been slowly trending downward. This is in line with a sort of peak reopening story. So United's a little weak today. Got a downgrade uh, over at one of the uh, the wirehouses. Uh, some of the other. Uh, airline stocks also weak. Royal Caribbean host hotels also uh, a bit on the downside. So earnings season starting, and the key story here is very, very high expectations. Now, normally we get these numbers. The analysts have numbers, expectations. This is, uh, in theory, the mother of all earnings reports here. We're talking about earnings for the second quarter, 65 percent above the second quarter of last year. Those numbers are absolutely huge at this point. So we're seeing a, a big, big move up here uh, in earnings, 65 percent. And I said the whisper numbers here are now. 80 percent year over year. Remember whisper numbers? They were gone years ago. Now they're back again. They're expecting the analysts to again underestimate the actual numbers and are anticipating really huge uh, numbers coming in. So far, they've been right. If you look at the earnings beats today, at the percentage of the companies, the percentage of the earnings beats by the companies reported, Goldman Sachs, you know, look at these numbers here, 47 percent above. J.P. Morgan, 18. Pepsi Company, uh, PepsiCo, 12 percent. These are big beats. Typically, companies beat 3 to 5 percent. This has been going on for a long time now. Almost 20 percent beats is very typical for a typical company. Uh, take a look at the early performers. The companies had reported a few weeks ago. They've also had great numbers. So Nike had enormous beat. Kroger, Costco, Oracle. You see these numbers? All close to 20 percent beats here. The only one that wasn't a big beat was FedEx. That was in line with expectations. Guess what? FedEx has never Never traded above its report that day. That was June 24th. It's been below that ever since. So there's an indication. If you don't have a significant beat coming in, you're not going to go anywhere for uh, for at least several weeks here. Meantime, the other big issue is higher costs. We heard some of the comments today from Fastenal and Conagra. Fastenal raised prices. They're successfully raising prices to combat higher costs. Conagra, actually, this is very unusual, had to cut its full-year guidance uh, on the higher costs. That's a big issue. I haven't seen that in a long time. They're instituting price hikes, but it's lagging the cost increases as a result, and they're going into a new uh, new fiscal year. As a result, uh, their, their, their numbers are going to be lagging because they can't raise the prices fast enough to account for the higher costs. In terms of the earnings numbers, so even now you see these great earnings numbers from, from Goldman, not much of a reaction. Same with J.P. Morgan. PepsiCo, up a little bit here. That's a new high, 152. Yeah, that should be a new high for PepsiCo. And Fastenal, ConAgra is, of course, the one that actually instituted the, uh, the decline in their earnings guidance overall. But you see here, good numbers, with the exception, perhaps, of ConAgra. And, Carl, not much of a reaction from the markets. Back to you. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.